Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's another week and another could approved cheap easy meals that also can be great for children with sensory processing disorder, disorder like one of my children have. Tonight it is Friday night and on Friday nights we often have a movie night so we are having movie nacho night and nacho movie night however you want to say it. So when we have a movie night we tend to have nachos and this is a way that I sneak again veggies and legumes into my kids diets without them noticing. So it's really filling high in protein but also really yummy and exciting for them. And the great thing about nachos is you can really make it your own and top it with loads of different things here. So let's get straight into the video. Here are my movie night nachos. Here are the ingredients we are going to be using for a nacho movie night dinner. You're going to be hearing baby in the background while I do this voiceover. It is what it is. So we have two big cheap bags of nachos, the toppings, some sour cream, some salsa, and then I have a random avocado. You can buy pre-made guacamole or an avocado. Some beans of your choice. I'm using black beans, but kidney beans, pinto beans, any will do just fine. An onion and a pepper of any color, and then some cheese. A few things I also forgot were jalapenos, tomato puree, garlic, and fajita seasoning, which again, you can make your own. I'll tell you about that later on. I start by mashing all of my beans. So this is a job that you can get your kids to do. I normally also get my husband to do it while I'm doing other things. He was not around. So I actually halfway through decided just to blend this because black beans are a little bit harder to squish than other beans. But if you're using pinto beans or kidney beans, then this will be a lot easier. Or if you've got a kid or a husband around to, to squish it, then great. I dice up an onion and a pepper as small as possible or really small to hide into the beans. And then after I have done that, I fry off a knob of butter in my pan. You can use any sort of form of fats that you'd like, avocado oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, vegetable oil, whatever one. And once that is melted, I add in my onion and pepper and fry them off until they have softened and shrunk. I then add in a couple of teaspoons of my garlic. I added probably the equivalent of like five cloves, but if you don't like garlic as much as we do, then add less. I then added in about a tablespoon of tomato puree. And once that's fried off for a bit, I add the beans. Then I add in about half a cup to a cup of water. This depends on what beans you're having, but you're looking for sort of a hummusy texture while these are frying off and become well incorporated. I then add in a really good amount of fajita seasoning. If you don't have a fajita seasoning like this, then you can make your own with paprika, chili, cayenne pepper, onions and garlic powder, coriander, all of that, oregano, all of that is great. I made this way earlier on in the day and I let that sit around for the day until I was ready to come to cook my nachos. Then it came together really quickly. So I start by emptying out my packets onto a tray. I then put some cheese into the crisps and then I top it with the bean mixture. And this is a trust the process moment because yes, it looks terrible at the moment, but we'll just wait. Then we're gonna top it with loads of cheese and shove it in the oven pretty much just until the cheese is melted. While that is in the oven, I get my toppings all ready and prepared. I chop up an avocado and add some salt and lime to this. Then I top it half of jalapenos for mine and Joel's half. And then I go in and add in sour cream, salsa, and some avocado. And there is more of that dip that we can then add onto our own ones if we want to. And as you can see, we are all set up ready for movie night. Right guys, that was my kid approved movie night nachos. If you want to, you can add any toppings you want. You can make like buy guacamole rather than make just chopped avocado. You can add chopped tomatoes on. Normally we do add some sweet corn in, but I didn't have any, so sweet corn is great. Um, you can chop up fresh red onion to put on top if your kids like that. 
and have like lettuce on top. There's loads of different things you could do. Rocket would probably work really well and cilantro or coriander. I can't remember which one. I watched too many American recipe videos to know what one it is. Um, but that is everything. I hope you are enjoying this kid approved meals series and let me know down below if there are other recipes or that you'd like me to show you and or if there are, are recipes that you love and you would like me to see if I can try and make it kind of kid approved I can try and see what I can do there but that is everything for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video bye friends